Hello friends, your good buddy Stud from CorkEnvy.com. Welcome to day 24 of the 2023 Cork Envy Adult Beverage Advent Calendar Video Series. Let's see what's behind our door today. All right, friends, today you see we have a bottle of wine, and of course, this is a champagne. It's the last day of the Advent Calendar Video Series. Of course, we're gonna set it off with a pot. Today's champagne is the Lanson Rosé Champagne. This is 53% Pinot Noir, 32% Chardonnay, and 15% Pinot Meunier. So a very classic blend for a rosé champagne from the Champagne region there. Now, two, three, four, five, six. Did you know it takes six turns to get the uh, cage off of a bottle of champagne? Now, very classic champagne here. Uh, just wanted to open something pink and festive to end this series uh, this year, friends. So, got my glass. You see, this is gonna pour a nice, I already know this, a nice pale pink in the glass there. And I am, as you can see, suited and booted today because why not? It's the festive season. Pull out your best finery, I say. now. Oh, on the nose of this, I'm getting uh, raspberry and uh, lemon rind on this, 100%. Knew what I was getting, friends. This is an old favorite. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Bright, crisp, raspberry, a little bit of sour, a little bit of sweet. It's not a sweet champagne, but just that hint of uh, sweetness in there. Gosh, I love the champagne, friends. It actually um, reminds me of being back in Alexandria, Virginia before moving to London uh, just over two years ago and uh, sipping champagne with, uh, eh, let's say my girls, uh, at Brute Wine Bar uh, there in Alexandria. Uh, proprietor Dustin always treated us right. Uh, always a holiday destination for us to some degree, but also just a random Thursday in June. Uh, we would end up there but this was one of the featured champagnes dustin always had available and gosh it's just one of my favorites makes me feel a little nostalgic because that's what the season's about but it's still a fine fine champagne uh, i think you can get this one the rosé probably gosh i think it's on offer for like 35 pounds here in the uh, uk right now in the states uh the rosé is probably going to set you back about 60 dollars or so best i can recollect but um you know not the highest priced uh, but still, uh, you know, accessible and, and fun to have and a quality champagne to have with your friends and family at holiday gatherings. Friends, I, you know, it's another year. I've been doing this since I think, what, 2017. I really enjoy this series. I enjoy your feedback. I enjoy, you know, your thoughts on your Christmas traditions and favorite carols and all of the things. And I really appreciate you being with me and you know, as we come to the end, or I come to the end of the video series at least, I'd like to share my final holiday haiku for 2023. Here we are. A beacon of light illuminates splendid joy. Shine brightly, you stars. Friends, I want to encourage all of us, um, you know, coming at the end of the year and celebrating the holidays, and going into the new year to uh, figure out the best way we can shine brightly. That may not be making wholesale changes in our lives. It may just be getting a bit of a different perspective on the lives we have and making small changes along the way that make not only ourselves, but others happy as well and spread joy and light and love to the universe. Friends, as always, I want to thank you for uh, joining me on this journey every year and once again comments public and private i more than appreciate this is always a fun thing to put together even though it does get to be a pain in the ass about week two and a half uh every year despite my thought that i'm going to plan ahead but that's the season isn't it friends but we're at the end of it now and i'm glad i did it and i've loved every second of it and i hope you have as well so all i can say is until next time have a happy holiday season, a beautiful, prosperous new year, and always remember to be nice, be safe, and be happy. Cheers, friends.